get the true perspective on this situation. Mm -hmm. There are things that God is going to reveal to you about how this relationship has deposited, not just taken away from you, but has deposited um, different qualities, attributes, character traits. I want you to think about this for your own relationship for just a moment, your own situation that you're dealing with. Because when you can actually understand that more has been happening than what you have originally been seeing, it's easy to see the frustration, the uh, annoying things, the um, toxic things, but allow God to show you how these how these same situations where you see frustration, where you have felt hurt, extreme betrayal, whatever it is that you are most um, sensing whenever you think about your relationship with the narcissist, you have to ask God, is that the only perspective? Or is there something that you didn't see that he gave to you? in that space. This is again, things that are covered in the session eight, because when, and, and session eight is called when you're digging for gold, you're going to get dirty, meaning that it's impossible to look for the things that are positive about the situation, the things that are redemptive about your situation, the things that are um, healing, that are life-giving, that are um, treasures about your situation without without first sorting through those feelings of you know bitterness those feelings of anger those feelings of um of again abandonment or betrayal so it's it is important that you understand these two things go together they go hand in hand dirt and gold go together you have to be willing to push through one to get to the other mm -hmm. and work through one to get to the other. So I just want to give us just like two minutes just to think about this question, just to think about a specific situation, even a specific moment in time, a specific statement, a specific uh, any anything that you you may have that is kind of uh stuck or weighing in the forefront of your of your mind of your heart i want you to think about that right now and i just want you to ask the lord what else do you have for me in this situation what in what ways does this experience serve me because i know that you redeem all things you make all things work to my good how does this experience serve me how does it serve my purpose how does it actually expand my purpose, not detract or contract uh, my purpose. So hopefully the things that come to your mind are things that actually apply to your life. What I mean by that is it's easy to go through something, um, especially something that is <clears throat> unexpected, very traumatic, um, something that is not in your plan and then decide, okay. Um, and then interpret that situation as though, okay, God is having me go through this because he wants me to help somebody else through it. God is giving me this experience because there's somebody out there that I need to help with this experience. That is probably true, but that certainly is not uh, the most important thing that certainly is not the thing that God is looking at first, which is why I'm uh, bringing up that if you want the gold out of your life, including how this would impact or affect other people, you have to be willing to go through and sit with and sort out all of those difficult emotions. There's no such thing as you getting the... Uh, the relationship of your dreams, for example, a uh, romantic relationship of your dreams without working through the betrayal, the abandonment, the, the feelings of bitterness, whatever it may be for your current situation or uh, working out how to be a, a good parent to the children that you have right now with the narcissist as you, as you try to co-parent or parallel parent or counter parent uh, with, with, a, a new person if you can't first understand how you need to become a different parent to those children okay 
So in other words, lots of people want to skip a step in that, okay, my purpose is now going to be to help other people who have gone through this. That, again, that may very well be true, but not until you have learned how to apply all of these things to your own life and have actually gotten your own life sorted out. Because listen, energy transfer is real. 